So right now I'm just placing on my hair net before I'm about to pop on my wig. And then my wig is popped on and right now I'm just putting a part into my head because the wig has a middle part so I want to make sure that my it looks realistic with my real hair. Then I'm taking my edge control and just putting that all on my edges so my edges can really lay down and it can look more realistic with this look. <laughs> and just really brush that edge control through my hair so it can really lay down and be nice and slick. Then I'm taking another edge control called Silk Elements and I'm just laying down the baby hairs because it's like 2016. Who are you if you don't have the baby hairs laid? All I've got to say is it's a push of girl All the things I do to you and make you go then I'm putting on a little headband to make sure that my edges really stay in place while I'm doing my makeup. And we are all set. Let's get into the makeup. So, welcome back. And I'm going to be trying out like a lot of new products. So this is the Sexy Mother Plucker Extreme Plump. Yeah, it's going to be lit. So I'm starting off with my Sopa Glory Lip Plumper so my lips can look really luscious. Soft ochre paint pot just to prime my eye. And don't forget to set this with a bone eyeshadow as well. Then I'm going in with Max Saddle and just placing that right into the crease. Next, I'm going in with this palette from TJ Maxx and getting, picking up those two colors on my MAC 217 and blending that out. And I'm really mainly going to be working with these two colors, so I'm just building up the so I'm just building up the color until I like it. Just blending out those arch edges. Then I'm going into my NYX Ultimate palette and pick, pick, picking up that burgundy shade and just placing that in the crease just as a wash of color as well. Just taking my Max 17 and just further blending. Then I'm picking up my ABH Noir and I'm just pacing like an outline of where I want the black to sit with my crease before I actually go in with black. I'm going to be picking up the soft ochre and just carving out my lid, making sure it's really nice and clean. And then I'm going to be picking up this aqua color. Oh, first I'm going to be picking up my MAC Mix and Medium. But then I'm going to be picking up this aqua color and just using patting motions all over my lid. Then I'm going to dust away any fallout that may have happened. Then I'm going to go back in with my ABH Nor and further deepen up the black that I already placed. And I'm going to be taking my little NYX dome shape brush and doing this as well. And a good tip for this is to use a more smaller precise brush so you don't create like a black eye. I 
Then I'm just doing my eyebrows, brushing my eyebrows and the hair in the, in the way I want them, picking up my ABH, outlining my bottom line, my, bo my bottom brow first, then outlining, outlining my top brow, and then I'm going in with my Fergie palette and picking up that brown eyeshadow and just further deepening up my brows. Then I'm taking my Butter London, putting some mascara on. <laughs> Any fallout that may have um, came from using that eyeshadow. Girl, um, black gel pencil, and then I'm putting in my waterline and also just a little bit underneath so the waterline I've as well. So I've been using like a lot of new products that you can see, well, as you're going to be seeing, and I came across this bad boy, which is the CoverGirl True Blend Face Primer for oily skin. I have one for oily skin, dry skin, and combination skin. I got the one from. I got the one for oily skin and I really really like it. It's no, it's another good primer if you have oily skin. But now I have been combining my Black Radiance and my True Blend. It does work. But I think um ooh, oh wow 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 um I think I get less shine with this one like on my nose. So I like both of them so I always mix these two together and since this is a girls night out slash summer game I'm going to be using my Kat Von D concealer and I'm going to be using my tried and true my makeup forever foundation I'm trying to see if there's something else oh and I got this from Ulta I don't know it was an email went out and the Butter London mascara the double decker lashes was $12 12 freaking dollars so i got it and i'm trying to see is if is there something else that i'm using no oh this maybelline concealer fit me maybelline fit me concealer in calf amazing i've stopped using my la girl color in fawn honey and this is what i've been using just this i just wanted to like take some time out just to say that i've been using like new products if you guys been checking the description box, you know I've been using new products, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Really love it. Definitely recommend you guys go get this. The Million Dollar Face recommended it, so I finally got it, and it does really work. So, let's get back into the tutorial. Then I'm taking my Black Radiance and CoverGirl and mixing those, found, mixing those primers and rubbing this all in. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my Makeup Forever because I want a little bit more fuller coverage tonight with a damp beauty blender and blending that all in until it is seamless. Next, I'm going to be picking up my Kat Von D concealer and I don't place it right underneath my eye because that is another way to avoid creasing. And that's another way that I don't really tug on my skin because the under eye area is really delicate. And I'm just further highlighting where I normally place cheekbones, cubes bow, nose, chin, forehead. Um, then now I'm going in with the Maybelline concealer and cap and just carving out my brows so they can really be nice and neat. And next I'm just a good reason. Oh, and then when you're blending out guys, just take the concealer up under the eye instead of just placing it there. So that's another way. It's another quick tip for you guys. Just place it, just blend upwards so the concealer can get there instead of putting it there because you don't want any, you want to avoid creasing. And then another way I avoid creasing is immediately once I'm done blending, I set, I set it, and I'm using my Maybelline pressed powder. Then I'm going to be going over it with my Laura Mercier. Next, I'm picking up my Kat Von D with those two contour shades, and I'm just going to be chiseling out my face. So I'm going to be hitting my cheekbones, underneath my jaw, and my forehead, and my nose, and I'm just further contouring in the downward motion. <laughs> I'm taking a more kabuki like brush and just blending that out making sure everything is seamless and also adding more color <laughs> further sharpen up my contour by first setting it with my Maybelline and then going in with my Laura Mercier. Another quick tip is you can use concealer for this but I just use setting powder, setting powder because it's more easier to get when I'm doing my makeup. Then I'm just dusting all that off. <laughs> and just 
is smoking out the bottom lash line and then I'm also going to go in with that NYX burgundy shade on my MAC 217 as well. Picking up my makeup revolution brush and just adding a little, little blush. <laughs> Then I'm taking my Sephora jobs and I placed this on the back of my hand and just picked it up with my finger and just dabbed it onto my skin. It's my first time using it so I didn't want to overdo it and I'm just normally placing this where I would highlight. And I'm going in with my ADH to set this all. Oh and I also use my beauty blender to further blend it out. mahogany pencil all over my lips and then I'm also picking up this wet n wild lipstick and pasting that on and you're gonna see me pick up the leftover sponge I used to set my face with just so my lips can be matte. I'm just spraying and spraying my face and this is the finished look so you guys this is the finished look I really hope you enjoyed this don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time beauties Oh, 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 oh,